The Be Bold Show is proudly supported by Mobilia, your everyday solutions. So aesthetic, makeup for a flawless look. Dream over, making life simple. And styled by House of Crema with B. Vanage and Mosaic Shoes. Welcome back. You're still tuned on to the Be Bold Show. You have missed quite a bit. We've had Kwesi Yoting, we've had Irene Logan, and many more are yet to come. Now, right now, we are going to continue to our next guest, who was also found through Stars of the Future. She's all over the airways right now, and I'm excited because she's a half-fellow South African. Let's find out who this is. Hi everyone, we're sitting here today with Adina Tembila, who you might know as Adina. Welcome to the show. Now, we know you from Stars of the Future Season 3, mm -hmm. and recently you have been going around with a hit single called Let Me Go. Yeah. So how is everything going for you? Good, quite good actually. Yeah? Quite good. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Now, you know, for those of us who don't know who you are, tell us a bit about yourself. Do you all know my name is Adina? family in Damzi. Um, I was born in Liberia to a Ghanaian mother and a South African dad. Now what does singing mean to you? Why did you get into this industry? Because singing is something I've always wanted to do since I, I was very little. My mom told me that my dad when I was born said I was going to be a singer and sing all over the world so and I didn't really get to meet him. So it's something that I kind of held on to. Why did you enter the Stars of the Future competition? When Stars of the Future started running, I saw Effia and I saw Irene. I was like, I can do that too. And they're great. And, and I love the fact that they got the chance to do different songs every week and showcase you know, various aspects of their voices. I was like, I want to do that. So what was the first song you sang when you went for auditions? The very first audition I sang hero and I didn't know the whole song. <laughs> I sang just the chorus because I was part of the very last piece. I was assuming that okay they wouldn't really ask me to sing <laughs> so much. So I just sang the chorus. That was all I knew. Did you have to do a lot of work to get your first album and your first single out? Right after I won, the label I was assigned to, the, the head, Kiki Bansom, took held me by the hand and said, okay we're going to the studio tomorrow to start recording your stu your, your single. I'm like, what? <laughs> so yeah, I just started the next day. Like yeah, I went into the studio and I recorded and he put it out. Was this everything you dreamed of when you went into it? I must say that it hasn't been. You know, I, would, I had to go through a lot of hard work to be here. Because in the beginning, I thought I was, it was all going to be very rosy, but it wasn't. I had to go through a lot. Is this something you're going to do for the rest of your life? Yes, what I see. I see myself at... 60, 70. <laughs> Tell me something that I haven't heard before. We are here. I've been a slave to childhood. Why won't you let me go? Now, your new single that we were talking about is called Let Me Go. Mm -hmm. And it talks about, you know, you breaking free and sort of going your own way. Yeah. Is this, was this a personal song? Was it related to yourself? I didn't write the song, Chase did. Okay. But it's a song I could relate to. When he said, let's talk about breaking free, I'm like, yeah. And he knows a little about me, so I'm guessing he delved into that and used that as an inspiration to write the song. Yeah, I've dealt with breaking free at many points in my life. I think I'm still going through it. You've become famous. Um, your music is ever people listen to your music. How are you planning on giving back to society? I would love to help young talent who are trying to make it because from my experience it's not easy at all, especially with the ladies. Lots of people are ready to take advantage of you because they find out that you have some talent. So I would love to do that. Now how do you prepare your voice for singing? Like when you go into the studio, when you're about to go into a performance, do you, what, what do you do? There are lots of things I do. <laughs> I skip to help with my breath. Singing is all about breathing. If you're able to breathe fantastically, you'll be able to sing well. 
Then I do the voice training. Uh huh. Hearts missing a beat, it's singing a cappella. I just want to say, say bye bye, say, say bye bye, bye bye. And who do you hope to inspire with your song? It depends on the song, you know. Every song has the kind of message that's sending. So yeah, I I try. I hope that at the end of the day, when all is said and done, and I'm dead or something, people will look back and say, "Wow, Adina's song reached out to lots of people." I want to be able to touch people through my song. So yeah, it's for everybody, you know. Everybody. Yeah, everybody. And my last question for you today. What advice do you have for all the young people watching you right now who want to also make it? Once you've got it, once you believe in yourself that you've got the talent or whatever it is you're trying to bring out, keep pushing and you will definitely get there. And when you get there, when it starts for you, never forget to prepare because preparation is key. There's this thing I learned, there's this thing that the amount of preparation you put into something you're trying to do determines the amount of success you will get just keep believe in yourself keep pushing and when you get there do not forget to prepare wow thank you so much for being on the show for had a great me. time <laughs> <laughs>